Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 4, Configuration and Activation of Blue Prism. In the previous session, we learned how to install Blue Prism software. And watch another video, how to connect SSMS, nothing but SQL Server Management Studio. Now let me show you how to configure Blue Prism software. Once you installed successfully the Blue Prism software, you will get an icon on the screen or on your desktop. So right click on the Blue Prism software icon and then click on open. So when you have opened it, the first error you will see, you will get an error immediately that you must specify a database connection before Blue Prism can function. Okay, so the thing is that we are having the relation between Blue Prism and the SQL Server Management, nothing but SQL database. So when you are opening the, you know, Blue Prism, the virtual workforce, you have to first configure and activate it. So this is the process what we are going to do. As of now that I'm going to say, okay, if you see over here, it is asking to sign into Blue Prism, right? So if you see over here, the connection, the default connection is there. So this is the first time when I opened it, there is the default connection, it will happen. Now click on configure. So you will get a, uh, you know, store and recall different database connections. As a connection name, first we will get the default connection. So as of now that I'm giving Blue Prism, the name I'm giving friendly name as Blue Prism connection. And if you see the connection type, there's a lot of connections that what we're having. One is SQL Server Authentication, SQL Server Windows Authentication, Blue Prism Server, Availability Group SQL Authentication, Availability Group Windows Authentication. So that majorly that you are using SQL Server Authentication or SQL Server Windows Authentication. If you watch my previous video while you are going to installing SQL Server Management Studio, okay, so we are going to choose one of the option to authenticate mode, right? So by default that I have selected or by, you know, by choosing SQL Server Windows Authentication. Okay, if you want to know which the database servers that we have to mention, right? If you want to know which database server that we have configured it. So at the time of installation itself, you have mentioned some of the instances over there. So the name, what are the name you have mentioned, that instance you will get it over there. Okay, if you don't remember that one, okay, let me explain once again over there. Yes, uh, Windows or command prompt and type SSMS, automatically you will get it a SQL Server 2012. Okay, there you can see the server type, this is the database, and the server names, if you see, there's the server names, what are the server names that what I'm having. If you don't know even browse more and go to database engine, you will find your what are the instances that you are having. Okay, what are the database engines that what we are having. If you st still don't find it, okay, now go to Windows R again, go to services.msc. Now if you see over here, the ser SQL server name and the instance name, MS SQL Server 2012. This is the name what I have given it. If you compare both the things, see, the what are the name that I instance ID that I have given, or there you can find in the services. Both are the same, okay? So while we are going to connect to Blue Prism, what is the database name we have to give? It's a local host, or we can simply give it as a dot. I'm giving local host, slash the server name what what is the in, sorry instance name if you see the instance name ms sql server 2012 okay i'm going to give it the same ms sql server 2012 okay this is the database server name and the database name what are the database name it is exists in the particular server or else you can give a user friendly name so I'm saying blue prism test. I'm just giving a user friendly name as of now and then click on test connection. So we want to check it out. This what are the connectivity that having connection name, connection type, database server and the database name. Is it able to connect to particular server or not? 
to test that test connection. What will happen on the backend side based on this database uh, servers and the connectivity type and the database name, it will check it out this particular, you know, uh, connectivity or the database may exist or not. If you see, I got an error at the first time. What is the error? The blue prism test does not exist. That the means that the database in the particular server is not exist. Let me show you that one also. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect to my SQL Server 2012 Management Studio. Expand the databases. And if you see, you don't find any name with the blue prism test database. That's the reason it is throwing an error. So, but I don't want to check it out from the back end and I want to create that uh, database, then what I can do? There's an option called create database. Okay, and then when it is, uh, when you click on the create database, click create a fresh database using a setting supplied in the connections dialog. Okay, so if already there is an existing database, then I will select this checkbox to drop it. But as of now, I don't have but still, I'm going to check it out and then I'm going to use native Blue Prism user authentication and then click OK. Now, database has created successfully. Click on OK. If you test the connection again, once again, see the connection test database valid successfully. OK. Now, if you want any time to create a new connection, you can go ahead and you can create a new connection. Or if you want to delete an existing connection, you can go ahead and you can delete the existing connection. If you want to upgrade or configure the databases, you can use all these buttons to do so. Okay, now I'm going to click OK. Now, if you see the connection, you will get it two connections over here. One is Blue Prism connection. If you have already any connection things, you will get it all these things. When you're going to sign in into the Blue Prism, first time, okay, Username is admin and password is also admin. Then click sign in. It it will ask to you know change the password or say your password has expired. Please enter a new password. Okay, I will give the password which I remember. I'm just giving admin one two three and then click on finish. You will get a pop-up saying, you know, the password has been successfully amended. Okay. So it will ask you if there is any Windows security wall, allow access. If you see, now it is a welcome page to Blue Prism software. You can find all the tabs like Home, Studio, Control, Dashboard, Releases, and System. But when you are doing it the first time, the remaining tabs like you know studio control dashboard releases won't appear it will be on the mode of disabled mode okay if you see on the right hand side left hand side also that i can studio on all the controls charts dashboard all the things releases systems all the things have been disabled except home and system okay to enable this this is the we have to activate our license Okay, if you see, I'm, I click it on the system, that is license, and go for the new, install new license, and select the path where you are having the license. So with the license LIC that I'm having on my desktop, and I'm click on open. Now it is succeeded, license key is successfully updated. This is the activation process for the Blue Prism. Now, once it has been successfully uh, completed we can see home studio control dashboards these are all the enabled software these are all the things it has been enabled if you see all the things it has been enabled so in this session we learned how to configure and activate blue prism thank you for watching this video have a great day